Good afternoon. Welcome to a Thursday's edition of My Swim's Facebook Live session. Uh, I am Chris. I am the head coach and program developer of the My Swim program. If, in case you guys don't know a lot about us, you know, check us out on the Facebook page as well as on our site, myswim.co. And find out how we can help you uh, elevate the way you swim. You know, especially if you're a intermediate or novice swimmer, you might have a lot of questions, a lot of bad habits. We'll take those and we'll help you out and craft a program with our our athlete-centered uh, focus and and coaching method that will be for you and will help you reach the goals that you have in swimming. So enough about that. Let's get right into it. Uh, today we, I had a question about breaststroke and about body position with breaststroke. Now the, the one problem with breaststroke is that a lot of people tend to think of it as being very much a old women's stroke. It's the easy stroke, you know, in a hundred IM or two hundred IM. This is the stroke that people tend to dog it a little bit. They get a little slower, a little more relaxed, so they can sprint the freestyle. But in reality, this is actually one of the most difficult strokes to swim. I always tell all my swimmers that I would rather swim a 200 fly or a 1500 free over doing more 200 brushstrokes, especially in practice. Like, if I had to do, I remember when I was younger, my coaches would say, okay, Chris, you know, we're going to do four 200s brushstroke on such and such time. I would die. I would just die inside. I hated every moment of it. But I did it, you know, it made me a better breaststroker. And as I've discussed before, I, you know, I didn't really start to understand breaststroke and fall in love with breaststroke until I got to college. And, you know, I was very fortunate that I had some good coaches there that really helped me uh, see how, how much breaststroke, how much fun breaststroke could be and how hard you had to work. You know, that was a, a really changed the way I did things. So in terms of body position, you know, breaststroke can be swam, you know, just like this, and that's not good. Because what this does is, as soon as we put this head up, our hips are going to start to sink. And this is where a lot of people end up going with breaststroke. You start seeing breaststroke group, old women and, and old men, just kind of swimming breaststroke and their bodies like this. This is their head up here, their feet are down here. They, they look like they're almost just bouncing off the bottom of the pool. Okay, they're just kind of going along very simply. So what we want to do, we want to, we want to flatten that out a little bit. We always are looking for that horizontal uh, body position in the water. You know, we don't want to have ourselves too up and down. That's not going to give us any forward motion, right? So one of the things I always see with swimmers initially when they're really working on the body position, trying to understand the stroke, is they, they're showing their goggles to the coach at the end of the lane. This is a huge mistake. So if you're coming in, so if the water level is here, on my chest, all right, and I'm coming in for my stroke, and I'm looking at the end of the pool like this, this is an eight pound weight that I'm lifting up. And like everything, if I'm lifting this up, then something's gotta take place down low. And so that's my hips, my hips drop, my head comes up, okay? You always think of our bodies like a seesaw. If we move one up more, the other part has to drop down. If we move another part up, the other part drops down, right? It's always a seesaw approach. So we're really trying to make that seesaw as balanced as we possibly can in the water, okay? Especially when it comes to our heads and our hips. These have to balance. They have to find that, that perfect balance position. So what we wanna do instead is as we're with our stroke up here, face the camera for this to start, Okay, as we pull out, we want we don't want to lift our heads up like this. And this is the mistake that a lot of swimmers tend to make. They start lifting their heads, and like I said, this is an eight pound weight, so our hips have to have to take that place. They drop down, and that's a that's a huge mistake. So what instead we want to do is start this pull, come up, come here, and that's when our bodies are going to lift. As you get that pull. You know, so you're pushing water out, and then as you come down, 
that's when your body is going to start coming up out of the water and you're going to start finding that next, uh, go into that forward propulsion motion. All right? So we don't want to start that too early because then our hips drop too far down. And we've got to remember, in breaststroke, from here to our elbow, this is our paddle in breaststroke. Okay? Breaststroke actually gives us one of the biggest paddles versus any of the other strokes. Um, we want to make sure that we always have that paddle in efficiency. So we want to go from here, come up, okay, pressing with our chest. Now I'm looking up just for the camera's sake. Press with our chest here, so it's here. Press out, down, and up into a forward pull, okay? And as you come up, you accelerate and shoot those arms out. You should feel a bit of a pull through the shoulder blades as you try to get that forward motion, that leap. This is going to then allow us to bring our hips up more and get our butts right at the surface of the water. In fact, I actually once had a coach tell me that if I don't, they wanted to always see sort of the back top line, the small of my back, as I came into that glide position in breaststroke. All right, so you want to keep those hips nice and high in the water we don't want to have them sink down. You know, we don't want to have this sort of arched approach, right? We want to make sure we're still very stable. So from the side, this is what this would look like. So we're going, you pull out, you pull up, and you shoot forward, okay? That's, that will help your position in breaststroke, keeping you higher in the water, allowing you to get more of a forward motion without having to struggle for that kick. So. Keep that head down. Do not look at the wall. We've talked about this one before. All right? We don't want to be looking at the end of the lane. We want to be looking down. So keep that head down. Okay. There's no reason to ever look up. So here, pull, and forward. Okay. Make sure that pull is not too far back. We don't want to ever break the shoulder plane. All right. So here, shoulder elbow and shoulder stop, pull, and forward through, okay? Never want to pull too far back, and that's a another mistake that a lot of people make. They come back here, and they come too close to their chest, and they come way back here, and they end up losing all this paddle space right here, okay? Their paddle ends up going from, all the way from here, just to here, okay? So I want to make sure we keep our high paddle, long paddles and forward, okay? As well, you want to make sure that these your arms expand through very quickly, and we want to shorten up our kick, okay? We talked about this one before as well. You know, working on smaller kicks in breaststroke will help improve your timing and keep your body position nice and high. It'll give you a little bit more propulsion into that forward lunge motion, okay? Um, as we're driving forward with our with our hips, get that small kick and it'll lunge you forward even more. So keep those those tips in mind. If we don't have any other questions today, uh, that's all we'll do for, for today's session. I will see you guys tomorrow at 2.30 back into our regular spot. Um, I'd like to start doing some of these sessions outside, but today we have a massive rain. And uh, so once we start having less rain, I'll start showing you and doing a little bit more in the outdoor uh, in pool space. We'll actually show some drills, different things like that. You know, let me know what you guys think of that kind of format. If you guys want to see more actual swimming versus just coaching, you know, leave a comment below. Um, that would be really helpful to me. Um, give us some love, some likes, some hearts. That would be fantastic. And we'll see you guys tomorrow and talk to you soon.